this Linden Light tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this effect right here, this disintegration sort of effect. All right, so um, what I do, I make normally a couple of videos and I release them every Friday. Um, I'd made this video and I had to go back and remake it because I'd scheduled this video um, to be released. Um, somebody sort of jumped in with a disintegration before me. Um, it was um, a guy called Hamiak. Um, really great tutorial, but um, pretty much the same as, as what I'd scheduled anyway. So um, I'm going to credit him in the video um, because it's a sort of smaller channel than mine, just so um, just so he gets some sort of credit as well because he did actually release this sort of effect before me. But anyway, not to dwell on that, let's go. Um, so Hamiak also offers um, one of these sort of templates as well. And you're gonna need a couple of resources. You're gonna need this model, which is just um, free, um, sort of a free image download. Um, anything, anything that needs crediting, I will credit it in the, um, in the comments below. And what I also made with Pixelmator was this sort of confetti type effect as well which you will need and the links to those both of these images if you want to actually indeed create this here um, you could also make it with this um, with these flowers that you get from um, from Pixelmator free but oh anything that you will need resources if you want to make this one I will put it in the link um, in the description of this video so let's go ahead and make this disintegration now we have to make this on a on a white background at the moment. I have also done one on a, a coloured background, sort of a, a differing background. But I'm just getting this template finalised, the, the the disintegration, the one we used for the disintegration template finalised to get that sorted. So um, what we're going to do? I've got mine in landscape at the moment. We're going to open up our um, open up our tools like so, and then we're going to go to um, tools, so we're gonna open up our, our menu sidebar and then we're gonna go to tools and we're going to um, click the reshape button to um, to reshape or change this image slightly. Now, at the bottom we've just got things in which if we selected one they would be in blue and we could just reshape the image with those um, criteria that you could see. So this would be refining the shape, this would be reshaping it, so sort of squeezing it. This would be bloating the image. And I might even do a tutorial on um, on using the reshape tool more in detail later um, at a later date. So but for the, for the moment, what we want to do is we want to freeze an area that we don't want to come back and reshape. So we're gonna select the freeze tab here. And you'll see on this left hand side, we've got um, the freeze or unfreeze button. So we're just going to um, use the freeze area and we need to paint over um, or sort of um, slide over an area that we're going to freeze. So I'm just going to sort of colour in with my finger. I'm not being careful at all. I really am just um, just colouring in like so. But when I get to the body of this um, of the image, I'm going to sort of make um, a sort of curved arc shape around the body. And all this on the right hand side, I'm going to freeze. Like show, like show, like so. Um, and then all I want to do, I want to freeze the lower area um, of this as well. But if you make a mistake, like so, and you want to unfreeze that area, just select unfreeze and you can um, sort of um, rub over with your finger the area that you want to unfreeze. So we've made this sort of arc S area and we're happy with what we've got. So all the area of the image that you see is not colored in, is open for editing. The rest of it is frozen the way it is. So then we're gonna go back to tools and we're gonna keep this refine button and all we're gonna do is we're gonna change the shape of this model as we've got here. And I'm just going to drag her hair out and change the shape of her hair so it's out off to the left and maybe a little bit higher like so. I'm also going to do some of the arm here and concentrating on the elbow area and out sort of towards the hip area like so. So we've got quite a distorted um, I could even do this little bit. We've got quite a distorted um, view of the left-hand side of this model as we look at the image. 
what I'm going to do then is select the little tick button up the top right hand side to confirm all my changes so that is the way my image now is I'm then going to want to place this image over the top the way we do that is quite simply with the mixer tool so I go back to my main image select mixer now this allows me to put um, this dispersion effect over the top even though it's not at the moment so all we're gonna do is we're going to blend these two images together um, and we're going to lighten the blend so what this will do the white this part over here will um, on the left hand side of the, the, the top layer will blur or, or fade into the background merge into the background with the white background and the black will allow particles of the background image to show through let me show you so we we'll go tools and then we we'll go blending and then we'll scroll across across on the blending to lighten so now you can see right away we have lightened the background and if i move my finger up or down um, i will lighten this image or lighten the blending mode of this image but i want it on 100 percent at the moment i've then got to go back where it says tools to camera roll before I can start moving this image around so now what I want to do I want to um, sort of leave this image about here and the way or where the location you put the image will change slightly will differ slightly um, dependent on what background image you're using so just for now I want to use this image as it is so I'm going to click the little tick button to say yes I'm happy with the dispersion effect of this image but we don't want to stop there we want to increase this effect and intensify this effect so we're just going to click mixer and again we're going to use the same image and just mix this image with the image of the background remember the two images that you see in the background are now sort of merged for the time being so we're going to go tools again blending go to lighten and then we're just gonna deselect the tools obviously otherwise we'll just lighten or darken the um, top image go back to camera roll and then move this image and adjust this image so we get again this sort of dispersed or disintegrated effect on this model and we're going to either twist or put this so it matches something to how we would want it to be and now I'm just gonna have this one for the time being like so but what I am going to do I'm gonna blend again so I'm gonna go mixer select this image and put it on top Go tools blending light and screen back to camera roll and then drag this over and let's have a, a, a bit more of a, a sort of dis dispersed or disintegrated effect like so click OK and then one final time I'm gonna go again a mixer select the image I want to mix with tools blending light and screen happy with the light and screen go back to camera roll move the image scale it up a little bit and disperse this effect again so I could keep going a little bit further just to make it a little bit more dispersed but just for the sake of this tutorial to keep it a little bit shorter I'm just gonna go to filters analog filter and then when we add a filter to it it will sort of all come together now a nice filter I think is this Fuji filter right here we can scroll it down or scroll it up to apply the intensity of the, of the filter I'm gonna drag it up to 97 it doesn't matter if you got it on 100 um, drag it up to 100 if you if you like click the little tick button top right hand side then what I'm going to do is go to a duo filter so this is two filters and I want to yes okay and light I've got it I'm quite good with this in light thing and then I'm gonna to go to this vignette I've got that as well and then I'm going to drag the vignette so the vignette it just darkens the edges we could go to tools and we could change the outer color of our vignette to match the inner color of the image like so 
then we would have to go back to shape change the shape a little bit like this we could even make it a linear effect and have this sort of dispersed effect like this Let's change this um, we could even make it this way so it comes out pink this way and then so we go white to pink so it sort of matches her her outfit let's have a look what that looks like okay it looks quite effective really simple really really simple image if I'm not happy with that effect I just click the back button the back one go to my um, my tools again go to my duo filters we could go to um, let's have a look at it for a nice effect it's terracotta might be quite a nice effect then we could go tools change the shape on that make it a radial terracotta like so which looks quite nice click OK on that and leave it at that but like I said it really is up to you um, I think I said on the last video the beauty of um, me showing you these tutorials is that you then take it away and do as you please with the tutorial so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I will um, I will be back with more of these um, in light tutorials and more tutorials so um, thanks a lot for watching and, um, and take care catch you soon